Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to talk to you about this beautiful 2006 Mercedes-Benz ML500. It's silver in colour with black leather interior. And it's got the elegance package with the nice beautiful timber inserts and a wood grain steering wheel. Just the steering wheel in this car as an option could have been $1,500 to $2,000 pretty easily. It's got navigation, parking sensors front and back, and it's done just 109,000 kilometres. It has a very good service history to it. Memory electric seats on the drivers and passenger side. The car's spotless inside and out. The wheels, the panels, the interior is very good. It's been optioned with an electric boot. It has two remote keys to the car. The last service was done at 106,000 kilometres, so it's serviced up to date. I think these represent incredible value. It's got the 5 litre V8, which is very reliable and surprisingly economical. I've been driving an ML500 from the same year, actually and I've been achieving around 14.6 litres per 100 k's the way I drive, and I drive around town obviously and in a diesel I was getting around 11 odd litres per 100 kilometres for me personally I'd rather spend a little bit extra and drive a 5 litre V8 than a turbo diesel so it's smooth and it's got a huge amount of power But when you look closely at this car, the headlights, the bumpers, the panels, the wheels, it's just in absolutely beautiful condition. It came from the north, uh, up and offshore. It's registered until March 2017. It's got a nice set of European number plates on it. It's a one owner car from brand new. And if you've been looking for an ML500, I think you should definitely come in and have a look at this car. At the moment, we've got two ML500s in stock, one's a late 2005 and one's the 2006 which is this car and for under $30,000 they represent incredible value. They are also very reliable if you get a good one. You may see a cheap one online for $20,000 or $22,000, $25,000 whatever it is and you'll think you're, uh, you're really winning, you've, you've picked up a real bargain. But the service history isn't great. It may not even have a logbook. It possibly hasn't been looked after. And suddenly you've got to spend a few thousand dollars to bring it up to this standard. And the car owes you over $30,000. It's probably done 150,000 kilometres and it's been a pretty expensive proposition. In my experience, you're always much better off to buy a good one, which, a car which is good from the start. A car like this. And I have driven it, I've test driven it, and I've driven a number of these MLs, and this car does drive perfectly. Air conditioning is cold, the ride suspension is quiet, there's no road noise or tyre noise. It's very good. And if you're buying a brand new car, if you're buying a second hand Corolla, yes it is just a car, you just put price load a high 2007, whatever it is, and you go buy one. When you're buying a European car, you, you can't buy the cheapest car. You've got to buy the best car at a fair price, which is exactly what this car is. I like the wheels. Some people put 22-inch wheels on them because I think they look great. I, I don't, personally. I like the fact that it's got standard wheels. The other problem with putting big wheels on it puts unnecessary stress and pressure on all the suspension which is going to cost more money. And to be quite frank, the, the, the tyres are cheaper on these wheels than on a 20-inch or a 21-inch wheel. So I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And even if you're looking at it at 06, 07, 08, 09 model 500, I would consider this car. And I would definitely consider this car if you're looking at a 350 because you're at, if you actually work out all of your running costs... 
think you'll find that the five liter V8s very similar. In fact, in some cases, it could be cheaper to run. And if you want to know why, feel free to give us a call. I can have a, a chat to you in, in more detail um, as to why the five liter V8 might be cheaper than the, the first of the three and a half liter V6 to run. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We're very proud to offer you this car at the Old Timer Centre. It's been very well looked after by its one owner, and it's not a car which I think will last very long. Thank you so much for taking the time, and we look forward to hearing from you shortly.